Here's a little three liter engine out of a 2004 Ford Escape. This is the one that I got in a vehicle that was running and the engine was fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this engine and I'm gonna put it into another Ford Escape, same year that I got, that had an oil failure and the engine's knocking. So I'm doing an engine swap. So this engine's going in there and the other one I'm gonna take out and take it apart and see if I can fix it. Okay, so thing is with this engine, it was running well, wasn't knocking, nothing like that, good oil pressure, but it was leaking oil like a sieve like they do sometimes. So what I've done is I've taken off the valve covers, the timing cover, and the oil pan, okay? And I went to my favorite website, rockauto.com, and I bought an oil pan gasket right there, valve cover gasket, okay? It comes with all the grommets for the bolts, and they have amazing parts and wonderful service and fast delivery. You know, they they don't even have a, on their website, they don't seem to have any place to, to review their service that I can see. But I'm telling you, these guys are the best. If you want to buy car parts, any vehicle you can think of, they've got the parts. Rockauto.com. They are superb. They are supreme. Good prices and fast delivery. What more can I say? Okay, and the other thing I got here is intake manifold gasket set. All right, so I've got all that off the engine, so this is all gonna be new when it goes back in. I got some exhaust manifold gaskets. And this one here, it's funny how it's labeled. It says can't crankshaft front seal, but it's actually the timing cover. Uh, it's got the front seal in there, but it comes with the timing cover gaskets. So I guess if you were gonna change the front seal, you would take the cover off. I guess that's what their thinking was on that. But you see you've got these, got these gaskets here and there's an O-ring and there's the front seal. Okay, so I guess that's their thinking. But uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I've, I've scraped these off the other day. I, I used some, uh, just some paint thinner and a scraper and I scraped these off and that's been sitting there for a day or so. What I've got is some brake cleaner here. So I'm just gonna clean these off with brake cleaner, wipe it off clean, so know that there's no oil residue on these surfaces and then I'm going to clean up the surface on the pan and the timing cover and the valve covers and uh, we'll get that together. I've got the timing cover here I'm going to clean up these surfaces. I mean it had a quite a bit of sludge in here so I, I'm thinking even though this engine's been running good uh, it probably wasn't maintained as well as it should have been. They, it's got some deposits on here you know it's probably it doesn't look like it's burning oil or blowing by that I can see. It's probably just a, a lack of good maintenance. They probably didn't change the oil very often, things like that. So uh, I think it's okay. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna put it back in the Ford Escape. I'm not gonna. It's, this is not a rebuild by any means. This is just a, a heart transplant. I'm gonna just take, you know, take the other one out. I'm gonna put this one in. I'm gonna make sure, it, you know, it's not leaking the oil too bad. I'm gonna change the seal. First, what I'm gonna do is clean the cover. You know, I washed off the outside of the engine before I started taking it apart, but there's still some on here. I'm going to get some of this off of here. And looking at the inside, I'm going to clean this up a little bit before we put it back together. That's that seal out of there. All right, I got the hole cleaned up. It's the old one. There's the new one. All right, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some of this here, uh, Permatex number two. You could use silicone too, but I just happen to have some of this handy. Put it around here. Just wanna make sure that doesn't leak between the casing and the seal. It's gonna go in there pretty tight, so not much chance of that, but I always like to add a little extra insurance. Now, I'll just set it in there like that. Just work your way around. I just took a flat board and put it across it once I'd started it, gently like that, and just tapped around with a hammer and then tapped in the middle. I finished it off by just lightly tapping on it here. Got it flush with the cover, that's where you want it. Okay? Okay, so before we put the cover on, we wanted to figure out where all the studs and bolts went, because there's a mix of uh, studs and bolts. See, there's like a stud here, bolt there, so how do we know that? So when I took it apart, I just did a rough sketch here. I mean, this is rough. Power steering pumps in here. And then I just went from the top to the bottom on both sides and I wrote down bolt, 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 and then there's a stud and a bolt. 
these are under the oil pan I guess and then bolt bolt stud bolt stud on the way up because you know but they all they're all the same thread they all fit in the same hole but you want to make sure you get them in the right order so when you take it apart just make some kind of a sketch that you can follow it doesn't have to be something to you know I mean that that sketch is not worthy of going on YouTube but it's my own sketch it got me through and I know that when I put it together I'm gonna have all the studs and bolts in their respective hole now in here to hold the these hold the cover on but they have a stud that comes up through them see the top here and that's where your you can see it here you've got your cover and then you've got where those studs protrude that's how you bolt your power steering pump onto it spot there there we are Move that down in there yeah good and that silicone on the bottom is some people would say unnecessary but yeah, it's gonna hold it man that's gonna hold any oil that gets in behind it from coming around okay that's that one all right we're gonna do the same down the side here a little bit Okay, so, and you can see I've already laid out the gasket, and we'll set it in there, and bring that around, see that? Okay, I want to make sure I don't turn the gasket over putting it in, because it's you know it's not used to having a bit of silicone down into the groove there so it might try to turn it over so down it goes like so looking good looking good I probably went a little heavy on the silicone actually okay so I got those gaskets in there with a little silicone behind them and a little silicone on the surface and I'm just gonna stick this in place Okay, we previously cleaned all this up, so we know it's spotless. Okay, here we go. One shot to get it right. One shot to get it right. And there it is. Just going to thread those all those bolts in by hand and the studs and by the time we get them all in there we go to tighten them up that silicone will have set a little bit you know instead of it just getting completely flattened out okay so this side here stud bolt stud bolt bolt okay so stud bolt stud bolt Bolt so here, bolt, 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 stud, bolt. These are all studs up here. Stud. And they're all identical, so it's not going to matter which way they go. Like that. Okay. Looks good. See that? Yeah, that should be good. Okay, I got that scrubbed out. I cleaned the gasket surface with emery cloth. 
and I cleaned it with alcohol, take any residue off there. And like I say, I didn't get every little bit of uh, all the deposits out of the pan, but I got all the loose ones. I got any of the, the hard flaky ones, you know, anything that's going to fall off and cause a problem. Like I say, I, you know, the, the whole engine is, has got some deposit problems. So, you know, it's, it's not like the pan has to be perfect. Okay. So we got that cleaned out. We got, uh, took uh, emery cloth and went around the surface of this. And I uh, took alcohol and degreased it. The other thing I did was I went up underneath where the oil pan goes. I went along there and I scraped all that. And I went over it with emery cloth. And okay, so that's just gonna be wiped off with some alcohol up in here. I'm gonna cut off the ends of these rubber from that uh, timing cover gasket, make sure it's flush here. And we'll put that on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's the oil pan on. And the same thing, you know, there's a series of uh, how it came apart, where the studs are, there's stud, stud. So I had that marked too. And wiped off the excess silicone. You don't need it on the outside. It's not going to do you any good. Ah, looking good there. See? And there it is. Don't forget on these engines, if you ever go to take one of these pans off, there's a couple of bolts. See them up in there? I almost missed those when I went to take the pan off. Just make sure you don't forget those ones.